welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. And it's now time for something different. Time for something new. Time for Omega Ball. Omega Ball, a brand new football variation, will be making its debut in Trinidad and Tobago on Sunday at Skinner Park in San Fernando. The new sport involves the three five-a-side teams playing simultaneously on a circular pitch. Well, joining us on Zoom to tell us more about Omega Ball is CEO of TD Nation, Andy Salandi. TD Nation is the company responsible for organizing and bringing the new sport to Trinidad and Tobago. All right, so he's on the phone. Uh, good afternoon, Andy. How are you doing? Welcome to the Sports Max Zone. I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Great to be here. All right, so talk to me. I'm Trini. Now I'm even more excited about this because this is something for my country, um, you know, something very, very new, always open to new initiatives. What's this Omega Ball about? Ah, good question. Um, just a, a, a variation, as you said, of football, the game that we all love, the beautiful game, but with more emphasis on scoring goals not taking as long in the build-up to get to the goal. Um, we, we can all agree that the most exciting thing in a game of football is in the goal mouth. You know, the, the battle between scoring and the goalkeeper making saves. This is where fans get out of their seats and, you know, they're always very, very exciting. So Mega Ball is bringing an emphasis on attacking the goal, transition play. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's called chaos on the field. Uh, lots of thinking, uh, and, and we're just very excited to be introducing it uh, to Trinidad and Tobago, and by extension, the entire Caribbean is our goal. Yeah, and how has the response been so far? Because as much as there are people that are always open to changes, there are some that are very stuck in their ways and might say, what is this and why should I even put my attention on it? Yeah, it's a fair question, but like anything else, whenever something new gets introduced, sometimes it, it's it's always faced with a little bit of skepticism or yeah. resistance. Uh, but I like to say in life, the only thing that's constant is change. And so when you look at the, the generation today, um, I think, you know, when you look at what goes viral, it's things that are short. Uh, the attention span, believe it or not, is no longer there. So folks are more drawn to a game like this. I mean, you know, basketball, all these different games are high scoring. Uh, tennis is back and forth. So Mega Ball is just, I think, bringing our beautiful game into a much more exciting version of it. And yeah, I mean, so, some folks would still, it may take them a while to, to, to come along, but I think the way it's uh, rapidly expanding in the US, I think it's the same. I think our culture, this is a game that's the perfect match, to be honest. All right. And tell me a bit about the format. I recognize that there will be no offsides. Yeah, no offsides, no throw-ins, just quick restarts. Uh, circular feel as opposed to rectangular, so that's the difference. But again, three goals. Uh, one, you defend. Two, you have to attack on and five aside four and a goalkeeper so the goalkeeper is not bored you know let's be honest some young goalkeepers love action they're standing there and every now and again especially when their team is dominating the game they may not even touch the ball so it just brings everyone into constant activity and play and uh you know just excited to introduce it the the reception so far believe it or not has been nothing but excitement and anticipation to see how this is going to play out. Everybody's kind of eager to see it launch and uh, get it started. Yeah, and one of the training drills that I had been through while I played competitively, Andy, had, you know, several goals, several attacking zones on, on one pitch when you're going through training drills. So when I see the three goals there and um, teams having opportunities to score in more than one goal, it reminded me of some drills that I had, I had done uh, may that have been some sort of a trigger to this this Omega Ball? Yeah, I would say yes. Um, I, I also said that when we saw it, uh, I played a lot as a coach. I played a lot of these uh, small-sided games. The variation we did, though, was one team was always 
defending if they gave up possession the other two teams were attacking so there was always sort of numerical advantage to keep possession and have you not you know incentivize you not to give the ball away this one is is more the emphasis is on scoring attacking the goal and getting to goal and and in, to me switching the points of attack but i would say um you know if i was to ask the guys who came up with the game that we're working with i maybe there was a trigger from those variations of of small-sided drills that we all probably did in in one form but i think you got to give credit it's it's brilliant to keep the goal uh the normal size and put the goalkeeper under pressure and and and, and you know i think it, it just fosters a lot more excitement all around and activity you cannot fall asleep right in, in the game that we love sometimes when you're off the ball you could you could literally fall asleep because the ball is not coming in a direction even recently i saw a goalkeeper got scored on uh that in the mls you know because he was so far out his goal and literally not thinking that he can be he scored on from that that distance so this this game brings a lot of um keeping you really focused on uh, an attention to detail which i think is good for your development overall yeah well andy of course you know i'm looking forward to see how this unfolds i'm wishing you all the very best in the launch of this new competition back in trinidad and tobago and we'll be following very very closely we'll talk again soon thank you so much for your time uh, you're most welcome. Thank you guys for having me on to just introduce it to the public. Yeah. And we're looking forward to having uh, much more conversation and rollouts. Like I said, Trinidad is just the starting point. Our target is uh, launching it throughout the Caribbean. Okay, Thank Andy, you. thanks a lot, man. And we'll continue our build-up to the Paris 2024 Olympic Games here on the Sports Max Zone. And it's now time for a special Friday feature, the Max Fan. Kimani Max Sullivan. family, it's Kimani O'Sullivan and we have another special Olympic build-up feature and you don't want to miss this one. We're here in downtown Kingston, just a stone's throw away from our Digicel studios here at Sportsmax. But we've heard from Ricardo Chambers Mariah Ramarak and Lance Whitaker concerning the Olympic spot. How's about we heard from you, our fans, for a change? On episode one of The Max Fan, we'll be asking a question that has been on the mind of many Jamaicans across the country. Are you worried about the big three in women's sprinting? Shelly and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson here, and Sharika Jackson, we take to the streets. What say you? Yes, I am worried about the big three. Main reason why I'm worried about the big three is not like I don't have confidence in my girls, but because Elaine has a injury recently, and I know because I was previously an athlete what it will cause. So for me, that's why I'm worried, because I don't want her to stress herself and put more pressure on herself just to please us Jamaican and then cause more injury in the future. So for me, I would believe she should sit out, not to make people proud, but just for her health, because at the end of the day, if you don't have health, you can't make wealth. Worried, not worried, a bit concerned, because I think our big three, I think they're on the way out of the game. Um, the rising star, I think, is Shakiri from the US. So, yes, from that perspective, a little bit worried. Yeah, um, I haven't been following it up recently, but I see some highlights. Like, I know Ilian was injured the last race. So, I'm kind of concerned. And even though, what's the US one now? Um, Shakiri. Shakiri, yeah. We will know how she win again. Even though she's good still, but I prefer one of our girls to win. Of course, they're training, you know, but you know, you can't, you can't put out front of front of front of a big coach. You see me? You can't put out front of them that are the original man. You know what I mean? If them did the under theme kind of guidance, I feel better now. I say, yeah. And when them man, they, them man, they make sure say, if, if you're injured, them man, they sort it out. You're kind of training where you need, your background training. Some people look at it that you have a personality issue, but I don't think so. I wouldn't say I'm worried. Uh, I'm more uh, curious about uh, what they are going to take to the table. So if that answers your question, it's not so worried but concerned. All right, tell me about Shelly and Fraser Price. 
might be her last Olympic Games. What do you think about her prospects? Yeah, um, her prospects are very good, but however, I think she's more thinking retirement now. She, of course, is going to want to go out in a place of glory, so I think she's becoming an all-cylinder aspiring. And in terms of Elaine Thompson here? Elaine Thompson, uh, she, I think, is more psychological as opposed to physical. I don't know if she can get it right before. And lastly, on Sharika. Sharik, I think, is, is, is coming on at the right time. I think um, she's peaking at the right time, and she, I'm sure, will be doing great. All right, thank you. A nice place you're looking to yeah, fix up gonna be, Yeah, this is uh, 2 King Street. It's uh, going to be a sports lounge that will be covering. It will be ready for the Olympics. Uh, where, as you can see, we're currently under some tremendous renovation. We're going to be having big screen TVs all around. So uh, for those who want to come and watch the Olympics live, this is a place to be two and a quarter King Street. And you know, you're going to have TVs with one channel on it, right? That's going to be Sports Max, of course. Sounds good. Shelly and Fraser Price, I would sincerely like her to make her last hurrah. Shelly and Fraser Price, Hera Sakaria will come to her. Shelly and Fraser Price, my girl that. You know, as I look in a city, my girl. Well, the people have spoken, and I, for one, am really excited to see what is in store for us at this year's Olympics. Well, that's all we have for the Max Fan this week. Catch us next week. We might be in your backyard. We might be up your street. But one thing's for sure, the Olympic Games will be shown live on Sports Max and on the Sports Max app. See you next week.